Today starts half marathon training, and the goal is to get a seven minute per mile pace, which is around like an hour and a half. And to put this into perspective, so up until like two weeks ago, I was planning to train for a 7.30 minute per mile half marathon. And then I ran a 5K on Thanksgiving day, and I was just feeling really good and in a groove, and I managed to run seven minute per mile. And I really didn't know that I could do that before until it actually happened. And then once it did, it got me thinking, you know, could I do that for another 10 miles? And I wanted to find out, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm near this local park. There's a there's just a running trail up where I'm gonna run today. Uh, but to give you guys a little background of like what my running experience is in the past, so I actually have I have done a marathon before three years ago um, when I was in school. I've done a couple of tough mutters and things of that nature. The marathon, you know, when I started training for that, I, I always had the idea, you know, I'd be able to endure and get through it. You know, as long as I didn't get injured or anything, I know I would be able to get through it. Um, but with this added element of the seven minute half marathon, it it's something that frankly I'm not really sure if I can maintain that speed for that many miles. And you know, I'm in good shape now, but you know, several years ago that was not the case. So in high school, like my junior year, I think I was like 240 pounds, um, you know, really overweight. And I played sports and all that, but always, always hated the, you know, conditioning, suicides and doing sprints and all that, absolutely dreaded it, you know, had anxiety over that stuff. Um, but now I've come to really enjoy kind of running and this thing, you know, my primarily interest is weightlifting, um, which I had been doing for about six days a week um, for the past, I don't know, two years or so. And I've been really enjoying that, but now I want to kind of switch focus back into a more endurance-based thing. And I think it's been I think it's been three years since I ran that marathon in 20, the, I think the fall of 2015. It's actually maybe four years, which is pretty crazy to think about. And honestly, after running that marathon, I didn't think that I'd ever really want to run again. It, it took a lot out of me. It was a lot of training. Um, and I just kind of felt wore down after after that marathon. But here we are several years later and ready to get back into it. So today, basically what I'm doing is just running three miles. Today's run is all about the speed. So I have basically set up kind of this custom training plan. I was gonna use some different resources online that I found, but I didn't find quite what I wanted. So I set up a custom plan. I'll probably share it in a later video. Um, but basically how I'm setting this up is, right now for the first couple weeks, I run four times a week and there are two kind of speed days where I work on my speed and then there's two more kind of endurance slash recovery days. Um, so endurance is gonna be the longer runs and then recovery is just gonna be at a slower pace. And then the speed days are going to be like mile repeats or something like today where I'm doing a three mile tempo run. So I'm doing three miles at my race pace, so seven minutes per mile. Basically, I'm gonna do like a quick two minute warm up. I'll show you guys that and then I'm gonna go on my run. to get get those legs moving but um, now it's time to do the run I'll catch up with you guys after I'm done just finished up the run I'll throw the stats on the screen right now can't really talk <coughs> 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 uh, but to track I'm using just my Apple watch with uh, with the Nike Run Club app honestly didn't look into it too much just whatever works um, for me at this point is fine uh, if you guys have better apps to use feel free to endorse them. Um, but if you guys wanna follow along, I think I can like post everything on my like profile or whatever so you guys can see what, uh, what I'm running, when I'm running, what paces and all that. Today, a couple things that I realized. Number one, it's cold. I need to wear gloves. 
and I probably need something for my face, and it's not even, it's like mid-30s, I think. Um, so let's get that sorted out, especially on cold days like this, even though it's probably gonna get even colder. Uh, legs felt good, pretty high effort run. I think out of the gates I started pretty fast, like 650, but then I really tailed off at the end. Um, I think my last one was like 720. But these, these kind of speed runs are all about really trying to push myself. Um, which is definitely what I did. But this half marathon for me is all about pushing myself into uncomfortable situations, trying to push my body um, and my mind to see what I can achieve. Um, I think it's good for everyone to have some kind of some kind of goal in anything that they may be searching for, whether it's you know a physical challenge mentally in their job or something. And right now this half marathon is gonna be mine. So right now we're, at, we're 14, well I guess 13 and a half weeks out. So I'll try to post like one video a week and uh, just kind of want to document this journey. Um, it's going to be fun for me to see my progression and just see at the end all the hard work we put in. And you know, this is only the first week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Plenty more videos on the way.